What's up guys, welcome back to this week's episode of Pilgrim Outdoors. We are gonna do something that no person in Manitoba, the YouTube community, has ever done. And I don't know how I feel about it yet. It could be either really good or really, really bad. Um, today, we are going to do a catch and cook and it is gonna consist of a fish a lot of us would never ever think of eating in a million years, especially out of here in the Red River. But for you guys, I am going to do it and I'm gonna use the help of a very, very great product that I now come to love. And um, yeah, that's uh, RJ Siemens and Josh McFadden's um, Crunchy Original catch and cook we're gonna use this today and i am hoping like hell that this makes this fish taste that much better you may ask what fish that is today we are gonna eat a bullhead we are gonna eat a bullhead catfish out of the red river and i'm gonna do a catch and cook on this very video and you guys are gonna watch me eat this very ugly disgusting looking fish and hopefully not die or get a tapeworm or some kind of parasite that's gonna end my life short so stay tuned stay with it this is gonna be one funny possibly delicious possibly disgusting video you'll ever see let's get it weapon of choice today nate's baits minnows some of the best minnows you'll ever get in manitoba slash winnipeg slash salt creek slash everywhere and the rig of choice the ultimate unstoppable catch absolutely anything pickle rig they should just call this thing the everything rig but yeah, we're gonna just rig up some minnows and we're gonna just bomb it. Let's see what happens. Okay. All rigged up, minnows are ready. There is a chance since we are fishing the Red River that we can catch almost absolutely anything else. Carp, catfish of both kinds, bullhead, channel cat, walleye, saugers, you name it, carp. But we're gonna let it rip, see what happens. Let's get Get it. Yeah, you're not fishing the Red River if you're not using a rod holder made of a stick and rocks. Let the games begin. Learned my lesson many times. Always put a rock. Always put a rock behind your rod because there is a very good chance you will lose your rod. So I switched locations. Um, my first location did not pan out. You would think Red River, catch a bullhead, no, no problems, quick, easy. But no, um, so instead I switched to the epicenter of all Channel Cat, Natalie Creek. Attaches to the river over there. And Natalie Creek goes that way, heading west. But yeah, we'll see what happens. It shouldn't be too bad, it should be pretty quick, I hope. Or fishing's just really off, and I picked a horrible day to try to make this video. But we'll find out what happens. Please do what I want, please do what I want, please do what I want, please do what I want. Oh, that feels like a bullhead. That feels like a bullhead. That feels like a bullhead. Please be a bullhead. Please be a bullhead, please. Please, please, please. Please, 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 please. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Exactly what I wanted, exactly what I wanted. Yes. That's a chunk too. Absolute chunk. Chunk, 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 chunk. Ow, ow, ow. First one of the day. Absolute chunk. Guess what? This one's not going back. We're eating this one. Ow! He's biting my finger. He's strong. He's got chompers. He's getting the fried grease, boy. Well, you guys are probably wondering why I'm moving so much. Fishing today actually sucks. I can't believe how hard it is and how much of a struggle it's been to try to catch a gold, or I mean, how hard it's been to try to catch a catfish. A channel cat, of all things. I literally moved three times and finally got one though, so it's worth it. It's actually worth it, thank God. Let's keep going. 
Okay, what's up guys, we're back. Probably wondering what the hell, where the hell, why the hell we keep moving so much. Well, I can't begin to tell you how slow fishing was. It was hard enough to get that bullhead. Yeah, so I'm just flaying this kind of like I would a walleye because I really don't know how to how to clean a catfish. Cut that off. Cut that off and ditch you in the bush. Feed the wild animals. We're gonna try keeping this as sanitary as possible because we don't need some diseases while keeping this over here. Cleaning wipes. Real nice. Okay. So here's a semi nice fillets. I notice their rib cages are quite intense. Yeah, there is the meat. So I'll just take, take the rib cage out. What happens when you don't know how to play catfish? There you go. Skins. There's one little chunk of meat. Get rid of that. Nature will do the rest. Cool. Okay, we're gonna make a make, makeshift uh, cleaning facility. I'm gonna dump the felts in here. Fill this with clean water. Oh. Hey, I don't have clean water. I just used it all. Oh, red river water it is. Red water, river water it is. And I'm just gonna swirl them real good. There you go. There's our chunks of catfish bullhead. Very unique colored meat. So I'm gonna be 100% honest with you guys. I am quite nervous about this experience. Like, <clears throat> you don't hear too many people eating ch um, channel catfish or even bullhead out of the Red River. So, you know, gotta take one for the team sometimes. You gotta do some unique things and yeah, see what happens. Like I was saying, like, the meat is very, very different. Um, the anatomy of a bullhead is very different than any other fish I've ever filleted. But hopefully, 
hopefully it turns out and hopefully I don't get very sick from this. So let's give her a go, let's cook her up and let's get this puppy in some hot grease. Let's get it. Okay, moment of truth, cracking out the batter. Let's spread these fish, let's get them going. Well, here's the first moments in recorded history of someone eating a Red River bullhead. Like any crazy Ukrainian would do, almost eat anything. But yeah, not bad. I purposely overcooked it a little bit. I wasn't wanting to run the risk of getting actually sick. But yeah, white flaky meat. That's actually not bad at all. Not bad at all. And they have very little bones of catfish, so. Hmm. Not bad, not bad. Tasty, tasty. Definitely recommend if you're, you know, tough enough to eat a bullhead out of the Red River. But I'm gonna sit back and enjoy this. Cause you guys Well, thanks for tuning into this week's episode of Pilgrim Outdoors. Very unique. I have to say it was kind of an interesting experience to say the least. But yeah, if you guys enjoy the content, please be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification. When you hit the bell notification, you'll be notified when the next video is up. So please go ahead and do that. I appreciate all the support, all the uh, subscribers, all the comments, all the likes. So thank you very much, guys. Let's keep it up. Let's keep growing this channel. But for now, I'm going to get the hell out of here because the mosquitoes are getting pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs>